use of interactive notebooks to engage students in STEM curriculum and build literacy skills by Charles Remillard, American College of Education, Capstone Original Cap Contribution. Interactive notebooks. Something as simple as a marble composition notebook can be super helpful in helping to engage students in STEM related curriculum. These notebooks are simple, as in there's something that students are able to recognize that they've used throughout their schooling. They're equitable. These notebooks do not cost very much and they're easy to access. These notebooks are engaging, where students are able to express their imagination and their creativity in order to create their own personalized notebook. These notebooks also offer an important literacy tool for students, as well as these notebooks help to create an authentic learning experience for diverse groups of learners. First, let's take a look at interactive notebook and how to set it up. So in taking a look at the notebook setup, it's an important thing that the teacher makes sure to find their own style on how to set up a notebook. Personally, I've taken a combination of things from classroom management and organization, as well as skills that I've learned in the lab setting and the research setting in order to create a template for students in order to organize their notebooks so that way it helps them to be creative and imaginative as well as organized. Some of the things that I make sure to do is I make sure that students have a clearly labeled cover. You'll notice in the top right, I've got an example of what I would want a cover tag to look like. I would also want students to label the sides of their notebook as illustrated on the right. So that way this helps for overall classroom organization of notebooks. I also find that it's important for a table of contents. So when we take a look at a table of contents, this is a student's portfolio. This is a way that students are able to easily look back and reference their work, as well as students utilize page numbers. And I like to have students write their initials next to the page number, as this is a common technique that is used in the STEM professional world. Daily dates are super important in the STEM world, as it's important to document when it is that you are completing different activities, as well as titles that explain what your work is so that way students' notebooks are easily navigable. I also find that it's an important technique to include a glued-in rubric to the inside cover of the notebook so that's the way students are clear on the expectations in which they are going to be evaluated when it comes to their interactive notebook. Rubric criteria. When we take a look at the rubric criteria for an interactive notebook, some of the different criteria that I have found to be most effective have been things such as overall organization of the notebook, so that way the student and the teacher are able to easily look through the notebook and identify where different components of the notebook may be found. Research, as in students actually completing research in their notebook, this is an imperative skill in the STEM world. Students should also make sure to demonstrate their own imagination through sketches and designs. They should also make sure to plan, clear planning for their notebook, for their different designs and prototypes that they plan to create in the future. As well as creating, that it's clear that students are going through the process of creating things in their notebook, as well as creating things outside of their notebook in the physical world. Students are able to test. Students should, should demonstrate in their interactive STEM notebooks that they're testing their ideas through experimentation and investigation. Students should also demonstrate in their notebooks that they have a readiness to try and improve and reflect on their past ideas and understand that it's okay to fail, but their intentions are to continue improving and building their own knowledge. This rubric is largely based on Next Generation Science Standard MS ETS 1-1, which is on the engineering design where students are constantly addressing problems in the real world and working to, through the engineering and design process in order to solve these problems. 
taking a look at the notebook habits and activities. So what goes into these interactive notebooks? One thing that I like to make sure to utilize is the do now or warm up activities. Not only do these help to prepare the student for class, but they also act as an excellent source of classroom management as students come into the room and they immediately know the expectations and are immediately engaged in the classwork. Some of these do now activities could be something such as activities or prompts to help students draw prior knowledge and scaffold learning. An example of this would be explain the time you had to solve a problem. What was it? What step did you go through in order to solve it? This would be an example do now for an introductory engineering lesson when you're starting to introduce the engineering design process where students are building from their prior knowledge and prior experiences in order to create a potential idea for what the engineering design process is. Activities slash prompts that help to organize student thoughts. This could be something like make a to-do list on what you want to complete on your project today. This is super helpful in order to get students refocused after a passing period so students are ready to engage in the project-based learning that you have planned for them. A last activity or prompt that we could have is something as a do now where we create an authentic learning experience for students. An example of this would be describe the weather today. What do you believe the weather will be like tomorrow and why do you think this? You'll notice that all of these do now slash warm up activities allow for all students to have some sort of a response. It is important to provide sentence stems for students so that way, English language learners and students who have poor literacy skills are able to actively engage and do not feel intimidated by these prompts. Taking a look at the notes that go into your journal, one thing would be graphic organizers. Graphic organizers are super helpful to help scaffold and build understanding for students. Sentence starters and sketches are going to be important things, especially for our English language learners. You'll notice that on the right, I've got an entire notebook page in which it's a template for students if they are in need of sentence stems. Student observations are a huge part of the STEM world, including plans and graphs of results and notes on class discussions in order to create authentic learning experiences where students are engaging in inquiry-based discussions. Taking a look at reflections of students is the final component of what goes into an interactive STEM notebook. Daily reflections should be completed to help students gather thoughts and explain their new learning. Some questions that could be included as your daily reflections could be something as simple as explain what you did today in class. Explain what you learned from your experiences in class today. What are you confused on? What do you plan to accomplish next class? These questions help students to document what it is that they did in class, very similar to an engineer or a researcher, as well as it helps them continuously looking forward in that growth mindset, so that way students are constantly trying to find ways to improve and to continue to learn more. These reflections also act as a type of formative assessment for teachers. So that way they can see what the students are learning and what the students' misconceptions may be. Taking a look at rationale, why an interactive STEM notebook? What research is showing that we should utilize these interactive STEM notebooks? One thing that an interactive STEM notebook helps to create is an authentic learning experience. It gives students the opportunity to act like a scientist or an engineer. Students are able to exercise flexibility while also maintaining organization. Students build their documentation skills. In the bottom right hand corner of this slide, you'll notice there's an image of myself and a research experience for teachers at Cornell University. During this experience, I had the opportunity to work in several labs 
in one lab in particular, which was a cancer drug research lab. Throughout this experience, I was able to see the importance of documentation and thorough documentation, and we utilize notebooks as well. If this is something that our future scientists and engineers need to know and that they need to be competent in, this is something that I want to make sure that I also bring back to my STEM classroom. The interactive STEM notebooks also present avenues for authentic project-based learning. Project-based learning allows for diverse student populations to engage in activities. Authentic learning experiences such as labs, experiments, investigations, and construction help to increase enthusiasm and give purpose to activities. Diverse student backgrounds can be alleviated by providing a variety of units that mix lectures and inquiry-based activities. Throughout the interactive STEM notebook, there are plenty of opportunities for authentic project-based learning, where real-world activities are utilized and give purpose to the students, where they're more likely to engage, and they see purpose in their work. Increased reading and writing skills. When utilizing an interactive STEM notebook, the teacher is able to give students different visuals and key, on key vocabulary to provide resources for diverse learners, such as our English language learners. Utilization of writing to build literacy skills, and this can happen interdisciplinary across content areas. Helping students to make connections between different subjects is crucial in helping to build lasting learning for students. I am also a firm believer that as educators and lifelong learners, we should also utilize the craft that we teach our students, which is why I find it extremely valuable to utilize these interactive notebook strategies in my own learning, in my own preparation, student learning activities.